Welcome back everyone. Today I'm going to talk about homebrew and right now I'm making up uh, four batches of a certain type of uh, different types of mead um, and I just wanted to talk about the different colors for a second so you can um, see the one that probably most people say looks the most delicious is on the left and this is uh, cherry mixed with um, basically boiled cherries, smashed boiled cherries, cherry juice uh, mixed with a little bit of honey and then water. It's just cherry, honey, water, and that is fermenting um, a lot. Actually, whenever I um, had it for the first couple days, it was uh, the most active. Now it's kind of calmed down a little bit. The next one is a plum. Uh, plum also with a little bit of honey and water. And then the next two are actually just um, uh, just honey. So they are like a pure, let's say a pure mead. Um, but you can see a little bit of difference in the color, and I'll tell you why that is. So for the, this batch, this, all of these, I'm using a different uh, yeast. Before I was using a bread yeast, and it produced a 10% uh, wine. It was really nice. Um, and I usually cut it off a little bit early, so it's quite sweet still. And um, yeah, I'm gonna, probably going to see how dry I can get these, but this yeast is a wine yeast, and it should get up to maybe around 20%. I'm not sure yet but I have no idea how it's gonna taste. I've also never tried um, uh, cherries and uh, plum. I've never tried cherries and plum before, so I'm kind of anxious to see how they work out. Um, but what I really wanted to talk about today are these two. So uh, the first one, sorry, this first one that I made, um, the only difference between them is uh, I used cold water for the yeast. I didn't really warm it up, so it was maybe a little bit colder than room temperature whenever I put the yeast in and then I stirred the yeast into it. Um, and the yeast basically didn't activate immediately. Um, so it was in water, it was kind of like starting to activate, but um, it didn't act activate immediately as soon as I was making this. So this is just honey. Um, I forget how much honey I use, but it's probably about um, maybe one kilo. One kilo of honey um, yeah and then the rest is water and then the and then the yeast right so um, I didn't activate the yeast let's say thoroughly I just put it in room temperature room temperature or a little bit colder than room temperature and this one started really 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 slow we had to have some very hot days um, before it really began to to go now it's working pretty well um, but you can still see a huge difference in coloration. So I'm, I'm betting there's also a big difference in taste. And if you look at the bottoms, um, a lot of the yeast, I think, already died. So um, I don't really know what's going to go on here, but this yeast looks like it's died a lot more than over here. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll see. I think, I suspect this one's going to be sweeter because I think that the not as much yeast working on it, or I'm not really sure. Or maybe it'll just take a lot longer to, to finish. We'll see. So the next one, um, as you can probably guess, is exactly the same, except I put the yeast in uh, warm water, like um, not boiling water or anything like that, but quite warm uh, water for about 10 minutes before I put it into the mixture. And both of them I did exactly the same way, except uh, cool water versus warm water and there's a huge difference in the way that they are um, coming out and even the coloration. So I bet they have a different taste and I'll, I'll let you know a little bit about that later. And then this one as well, this is all, um, uh, this is all honey uh, mead as well. So um, that's it today. All I wanted to say is um, I think you'll probably get a, a better taste or a better mixture with uh, warm water if you kind of prime the yeast first. Um, but I'm not sure. I'll taste test both of them and see which one's actually better um, at the same time. And I'm guessing this one is probably sweeter. Um, yeah. Okay, so come back again and uh, we'll see how it tastes.